This video will discuss how pain behaves um, and it will give you an idea of how inflamed the tissue you're dealing with is, particularly when you associate it with the other signs, symptoms of um, inflammation, pain, swelling, tumour, uh, swelling, um, redness and heat. All of this taken into consideration, plus what we're talking about now, will tell you the likelihood of it being inflamed. What we're talking about is um, how the pain behaves. Is it a constant pain? Is it continuous? Is it intermittent? So let's have a look at these one at a bit, uh, one at a time. Constant pain means exactly what it, the English means for constant. That is, it doesn't change. It's unvarying, at least over a prolonged period. So the whole thing might be getting worse, it might be getting better, but um, over any given short to medium term, there's no real change in it. Your behavior doesn't change it. You can jump up and down the knee, you can do whatever they want to, but it doesn't result in a change in the intensity of the pain or the type of pain comes to that. This is not musculoskeletal pain. This is not related to movement dysfunctions. It's not really related to anything we know or have anything to do with. We're talking about things like tumors, visceral problems, and so on. People will tell you that constant pain means it's inflamed. There might be an inflammatory component to it, but this isn't the important thing. Constant pain means that it isn't musculoskeletal. Get it out. Intermittent pain is, uh, sorry, continuous pain is pain that is always on the go to one extent or another, uh, but it varies. It can increase a lot, it can decrease. Um, but generally speaking, it doesn't go away. Now, um, sometimes it does. If there's not that much inflammation there, it's not too inflamed, then it, the base level may well be zero, but it'll go up and down, up and down to that point. Um, whichever the point is, that base point, um, it'll go up and down above and below that point if there is any uh, base pain at all. And so the pain is changing. It's certainly not con um, constant. Now, the um, higher the baseline is, the more likely it is to be inflamed. inflamed. The higher the peaks are, the more likely it's inflamed. Now, when you combine this with irritability, heat, swelling, and pain, more acute type pain, um, then you should be able to get an idea of just how inflamed this is. But if there's any baseline of the pain at all, there is inflammation present. If there's a small amount of baseline at all, there is inflammation. If there's a very high baseline, you've got a lot of inflammation. And then the last state it can be in is intermittent. It comes and it goes. So you do something to stress the tissue, it hurts, it's usually a fairly sudden pain, and then it's gone within seconds, it may be a little bit of short-term aching afterwards, but nothing to speak of. Now that short-term irritability indicates there is inflammation present, but it's a very minor component of this pain. These ones you don't worry about using anti-inflammatory treatments, you go straight for the mechanical cause of the problem. So um, bear this in mind, constant pain may be inflamed, but that's not the, um, the story you get from it. Constant pain means it's not musculoskeletal, fire it out. Continuous pain, um, if there's a baseline level at all, there's inflammation there. And even a zero baseline, it may, may well still be inflamed, but you go right down to irritability and the, and the other features. Intermittent pain though is almost purely mechanical, maybe with a very small amount of inflammation making itself feel, but this is mechanical.